In this chapter, titled Drawing Annotations, we are going to take a look at dimensions. In fact, we're going to look at the difference between driving dimensions and driven dimensions. We're also going to take a look at how to format dimensions, along with how to add center marks and center lines. We'll then take a look at how to add notes and balloons on a drawing. We'll then finish the chapter by adding a bill of material, and then we'll discuss drawing templates. Let's talk about the drawing we have on the screen. Notice we have a three view drawing of a part called wedge. You'll also notice that most of the dimensions are black in color. However, we do have a handful of dimensions that are gray. Now, what is the difference? Let me go ahead and zoom up in the front view. And notice in the front view, we have four black dimensions and two gray dimensions. Black dimensions in SOLIDWORKS represent driving dimensions. These are the values that were inputted back in the part environment when you created the model. These dimensions were imported into this drawing view from the part model. In fact, I can double click on a driving dimension and change the value, close out of the modify dialog box, and notice I have a blue window with hash marks that tells me I need to rebuild the view. So I'll select the rebuild button. And notice the whole size is now shown at a size of 0.63. Now once I save this drawing file, when I go to view the part model, that 0.63 diameter change will be reflected in the part model. So driving dimensions, once again, these were the values that were added when the model was built. I can change these driving dimensions in the part environment, or as you see here, in the drawing environment. These dimensions were imported into this drawing view, and they drive the model. The two gray dimensions that we have here are driven dimensions. If I double click on a driven dimension, notice I cannot change the value and expect for it to drive the model. Driven dimensions do not control the geometry on the model. So driven dimensions are added in this drawing environment. In fact, they're added by this command here, smart dimension. Now, why the difference? Well, a lot of people, when they go to create their drawings, they like to import their driving dimensions because it saves them time. Plus, they can double click on a driving dimension, modify the size, and it drives a geometry. The downside of driving dimensions is sometimes when you import many driving dimensions, you have a lot of cleanup work to do. Dimensions may not be in the best view, they may be on top of each other, and so on. Other people like to use driven dimensions because they're easier to place in the drawing views and it's easier to control their location and how they're formatted. In the next couple lessons, we're going to take a look at driving dimensions and driven dimensions. And after you complete those two lessons, you can decide which method you prefer. In fact, I know a lot of people, they use both in the same drawing just like I did here. So it's not uncommon to see driving and driven dimensions in the same drawing.